right sizing your five over five colonies before winter can be tricky. Colonies that are made up um, later need to get a boost of brood and a boost of uh, drawn frames because if you don't if you don't do that, there isn't enough time for them to draw out the frames and I like them to go into winter with uh, all the frames in the top box of the five over five completely drawn and as many in the pot bottom as possible. Almost always that's um, all of them. But sometimes if there's an odd frame that's not fully drawn, that'll get stuck in the bottom box. And when I came to these four colonies, which were uh, made up at the at the end of at the end of August. What I did was, as soon as I knew they were queen right, I gave them a second level and a couple of drawn honey frames, and a um, a couple of uh, sealed brood frames with a newspaper combine, just for an extra level of security, and let them equalise. And since then. Those four colonies have dropped in weight from 60 to 58, 69 to 66, 62 to 60, and 67 to 64, which is what you'd expect because they don't have the benefit of a large forager force and they're continuing to raise brood. If they were um, robbed out, they'd be decimated. They'd be next to nothing there. So they were left with a small, a small uh, entrance at the bottom and. Uh, little reduced one at the top and then an uh, alga hole there. Now, I get questions about if you've overwintered in nukes, how do you get your production colonies back to five over fives for winter? And that, that has a few variables that are, are um, depend upon your location and what you've got in the box. If you've got, um, at the end of the season, if the colony has been in a double, a deep colony, a deep colony, a deep box or a double deep box and had several supers, um, logic says that when you take all the excess um, supers away and reduce that space down to what is the equivalent of a single um, deep 10 frame box, they won't fit in. So, um, when you look at um, bees in the summer, they're only gonna live six weeks. And so you have to think about the sealed brood, how much sealed brood is in the colony. And if you put in a two, into this colony um, four or five frames of broods, including a couple of frames of sealed brood, and a goldenrod flow comes on, then it's gonna swarm because it just simply won't fit in. So what I did was on the post-production colonies in this yard, I chose the ones that I wanted to overwinter in five over five based upon temperament. And then the excess frames, I chose another couple of um, um, colonies like that and put the excess frames into the, those colonies that were surplus to those that I needed for to boost the just turned queen right colonies that I talked about earlier. And so, so what happened? Because I did that at the end of um, at the end of August. Well, what happened was they took advantage of the ten days of uh, goldenrod flow here, and this one, one nineteen over eighty nine, went from seventy two to seventy five pounds. So that's at winter weight. It didn't have a whole lot of space to fill. This one, three over twenty eight went from 59 to 69 pounds. So um, that's close to winter weight. This one, 158 over 94. This one went to, from 62 to 70 pounds. This one, 25 over blank went from 64 to 72 pounds. And this one, 103 over 81, went from 60 to 71 pounds. And you might wonder, well, what's gonna happen in these, uh, in these colonies? Well, I'm gonna chance these colonies as, as big colonies. I got, um, um, if they survive as big colonies, they'll work as my cell builder colonies for next year. 
or they'll donate uh, um, beads and brood to nukes. And if they don't, then they'll just keep the frames in cold storage for me until, uh, until the wax moths have died. And then I'll um, take them out of the cold storage and take them home. Cold storage being here, Wisconsin in winter. So it not all, not all um, yards are the same. This yard is a great yard for the fall. Actually, it's a pretty good yard all the year round. And you might recall that from a couple of weeks ago, I took some nukes from here home to avoid this um, deluge of goldenrod because I know for certain that if I would have left those here and they would have tried to gather eight or 10 pounds in a brood nest that was continuing to expand, then, um, then they would have swarmed and I'd be left with a, a headache. And it's, uh, that, that's happened to me uh, more than once. And uh, I'm starting to learn uh, a little bit about it. It's all upon uh, population dynamics. How many are coming on? How many new workers are joining the field force? How big is the field force? How fast is the broodness expanding? Will the bees fit in? So in this yard now, I just need to give um, these colonies uh, another, um, the post-production colonies are all within, uh, there you go, 69 to 75 pounds. I'll probably give them, them all uh, half a gallon to a gallon of syrup just to make sure they're at 75 pounds. And the um, late ones are 58 to 60, 58 to 66 pounds. So they need another maybe gallon and a half, maybe two gallons. And then we'll be ready for the great beekeeping hiatus in Wisconsin called winter. Oh boy.